Pros and Cons of Living in Tennessee Have you been considering the benefits and drawbacks of life in Tennessee? If so, you're at the correct spot. Possibly, you're considering relocating to Tennessee in search of better employment opportunities. Or, what's the finest place to settle down in Tennessee after retirement? There are advantages to living in Tennessee that you should be aware of, no matter what your circumstance is. In addition, there are a few things to think about before packing up and moving to Tennessee. Keeping this background in mind, let's examine the benefits and drawbacks. In order to address these concerns, is it nice to live in Tennessee? If you're looking to weigh some pros and cons of living in Tennessee, here's all you need to know. Pros Number 1. Job Opportunities Tennessee residents may choose from a wide variety of work options. The job markets in Nashville and Memphis are particularly robust, with a high number of openings and competitive salaries. Nashville's unemployment rate just reached 2.3%, which is about half the national average. If you can't seem to find employment where you now reside, moving to Tennessee should solve your problem. Number 2. It's very beautiful. There are many opportunities for outdoor recreation in the Volunteer State's more than 50 state parks and seven national parks. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park straddles the state borders of Tennessee and North Carolina, and it is among the most traveled national parks in the country. There is a wide range of flora and fauna in the park, as well as stunning mountain scenery. In Tennessee, you may find parks perfect for every outdoor pursuit, whether you choose to hike, camp, fish, or just stroll through beautiful scenery. Number 3. People are very friendly People in Tennessee are generally kind, open, and accepting. It's a big part of what draws people from up north or out in California to the state. This is the perfect state for all you music lovers out there. People from all over the country go to the state because of its stellar reputation as the home of country music, the place to go for the best barbecue and the warmest people you'll ever meet. What's more, it sits on the border between the southern and midwestern United States, making it a unique intersection where different cultures meet and mingle. Number 4. Reasonable Cost of Living Living costs are low in Tennessee. Despite a year-over-year -year rise of 18.1%, Tennessee's median sales price of $395,400 is still lower than the national average. Although Knoxville real estate is reasonable, the cost of living is high compared to smaller areas like Clarksville. People may put more of their paychecks toward things like vacations, hobbies, and savings when the cost of living is lower. Tennessee has a lower cost of living than the national average by around 12%. The savings are especially noticeable in the areas of flood, utilities, and travel. However, the affordability of homes in Tennessee stands out. In this state, the typical house costs roughly 30% less than the national median price. Are you in need of a mortgage to finance your new house? Fast and cheap choices may be found in cyberspace. Number 5. Southern Hospitality it is not an overstatement to say that Tennessee has more than its fair share of annual music festivals and other types of seasonal fairs. Tennesseans are known for their enjoyment of outdoor celebrations and their distinctive fusion of southern warmth and midwestern politeness. Visit Tennessee for Bonnaroo and other large-scale music festivals, Nashville's carnival and block parties, the city's more than regular parades, and top-notch country music performances. From the smallest of settlements to the largest of cultural centers, everyone in the state can feel the music. The Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum may both be found in Nashville, Tennessee. The Grand Ole Opry is the oldest continually run radio program ever, and it features live shows by the most famous personalities in country music. Music. The world-famous Bonnaroo Music and Arts event is held there as well. Live performances in Tennessee often involve rock, soul, and jazz. Number 6. Food and Drinks Residents of Tennessee, like in many other southern states, take great pleasure in the state's reputation for delicious barbecue. Different types of barbecue may be found all around the world. Memphis is the barbecue capital of the world, and if you relocate there, you'll be able to sample some of the greatest smoke meats in the nation. You must sample the barbecue at Central Barbecue, Payne's Barbecue, and Charlie Virgos' Rendezvous while you're in town. 
You must also sample the dry rubbed ribs in the Memphis style and the barbecue in the Lexington style while you're here. Memphis also holds the yearly World Championship Barbecue Cooking Competition, an event that attracts barbecue fans from all over the world. Tennessee is a great place to call home if you love barbecue. Number 7. Education among the most impressive and cost-free options for graduating high school students to continue their studies is available in Tennessee. The Tennessee Promise Program ensures that all Tennessee high school seniors have access to no-cost community college education. The Promise Program is a great illustration of the financial and social support that legislators in Tennessee have made accessible to children. To say the initiative has been a huge success would not be an exaggeration. Kids who may otherwise lack the self-motivation to pursue their passions are given the opportunity via this program. Although it does not pay for a full four years of college, many students are able to continue their education with the help of this program. Cons Number 1. Guns Everywhere It's worth noting that the statewide crime rate isn't increasing. To a large extent, it is particular neighborhoods in Memphis and Nashville that are having difficulty finding a solution. Most crimes include firearms or involve inciting violence among gang members, although these problems are not unique to Tennessee. The state of Missouri, located to the west, is also going through a hard patch right now. Number 2. Health when considering a move to Nashville, many people fail to take allergy season into account. Some travelers like taking the time to stop and smell the roses, although the locals usually advise against it. From spring until autumn, runny noses and watery eyes are an everyday occurrence. Every year, without fail, the spring trees produce pollen that causes misery for allergy sufferers. But if you think ragweed, hay fever, is horrible in the spring, just wait till the autumn. When it comes to allergens, Tennessee ranks 14th worst in the U.S. Therefore, if you suffer from allergies, you should consider hard before making Nashville your permanent home. Number 3. High Humidity Humidity and subtropical conditions make life in Tennessee less than ideal for some. Hot and steamy summers are followed by moderate winters with little snowfall. Spring and autumn are the best times to visit, but you should still prepare for some heat. Moving to Tennessee's environment might need some adjustment time. Tornado Alley runs through the middle of the state of Tennessee, so no matter the season, locals should brace for the worst. Tornadoes are a regular occurrence in the state, with an annual average of 50, and catastrophic storms are also prevalent. Hurricanes, strong thunderstorms, and floods are additional threats. Tennessee residents should take precautions against potential natural calamities. Number 4. High Crime In 2018, the FBI said that the Tri-Cities region of eastern Tennessee was home to a branch of every major gang in operation throughout the United States. There have been a number of arrests and offenses linked to gang operations in Jonesboro, and WJHL stated that a suspect slain in March 2018 was part of the Crips, according to tattoo evidence. Each year, police make more than 150 arrests of persons who have ties to terrorist groups. Number 5. High Sales Tax Due to the lack of a state income tax, you may retain all of your hard-earned money. That's why a salary in Tennessee will get you as far as it would in any other state. Because of this income tax cut, the state has a higher sales tax than others, about 7% to make up for it. The state of Tennessee relies heavily on tourism to help pay for basic necessities like food and housing. Number 6. Poverty about 13.6% of Tennesseans were poor in 2021. As a percentage, this was a drop from the preceding year when 14.6% of Tennesseans were poor. The majority of the state's workforce is engaged in the lower-paying blue-collar sector. Manufacturing, logistics, and storage, and public utility employment are some of the greatest in the state. This could also reflect why Tennessee ranks among the lowest unemployment figures and among the lowest median family incomes. Conclusion The state of Tennessee, as we have seen, is a fantastic location to call home for a number of reasons. The state's economy is growing, and it's affordable to live there. Still, there are negatives to living in the state, such as the frequent occurrence of natural disasters and the congestion that plagues large urban areas. Consider the benefits and drawbacks of life in Tennessee before making a final decision on whether or not it's the best place for you to relocate. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.